Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the questions that we solved using the master's theorem. In the previous one, we discussed uh, how the complexity is written in the form of master's theorem, the equation for the master's theorem and also the three rules. So let us revise those three golden rules. If my function is given in the form of big O of n to the power log uh, a base b minus some constant then we have the complexity as this and if the function is given in the form of omega in the form of n uh, to the power a log a base b plus some constant then the complexity is written as the theta uh, this thing theta of a function itself and if my function is given as the theta of the n log to the power log a base b then my complexity is also equal to theta of n to the power log a base b into log n so using three these gold uh, these three rules we are going to find out the complexities in the form of theta so suppose uh, i'm given a question tn we had done the that the equation is written as tn a t of n by b plus some con function n right so here I'm given T n as 90 n by 3 plus n. So it is very evident that a is equal to 9 and b is equal to 3 and f n is equal to n. Okay. So the first step that I'm going to follow is find out n to the power log a base b. So that is equal to n to the power log 9 base 3 this is obviously I hope you all know how to solve the logarithm so this is okay I'll solve it for you in this one question this is 3 square it comes out to be log 3 3 so what is this log 3 to the base 3 is 1 so that comes out to be n square now what I'll do is I'll compare n to the power log a base b with fn okay so now if my log this term this is greater than fn then what does that mean that i have to subtract something from this thing so that it becomes equal to this right suppose i have suppose uh, i have 5 on this side and 3 on this side so i have to find out which is greater obviously 5 so now i know that to make 5 equal to 3 to make 5 equal to 3 what I have to do I have to subtract something from 5 that is I have to if 5 is equal to this so I have to subtract something from this when I subtracted uh, something from this this expression okay so that was the rule number 1 here I had subtracted some constant so it gave me the complexity so that is the rule number 1 so by rule number 1 the, com the function is in the form of this and the complexity will become this thing uh, theta of n to the power log b base log a base b so the complexity will be written as the complexity will be written as theta of log n to the power log a base b what is this thing this is theta of n square so that is how you find out the complexity of a given function uh, this thing fn uh, function n and you have been given the equation you have got the uh, constant terms and this is how you can find out the complexity now we'll solve one more question say tn is the i hope uh, i think you should take out a copy and paper uh, sorry copy and pen and you should solve simultaneously since you have seen one example now and it will be very easy for you to solve now let's take a bit tricky example okay plus thousand n square so peeps one thing that you have to keep in mind is that you never take into consideration this constant okay we'll see how so here here uh, definitely a is equal to 3 8 sorry and b is equal to 2 f of n is equal to thousand of n square so n to the power log 8 to the base 2 will be equal to 3 n cube i mean this is equal to 3 so n cube so now i see that n to the power 
log a base b is greater than fn because n cube is no i wait let's not decide what is uh, what it is I, one one side i have to find out okay so one side i have n cube one side i have thousand n square so now you don't have to consider this constant okay you just have to check out the n n terms so obviously n cube is greater than n square so that is this thing so i need that means i need to subtract something from n cube to make it this so i use the rule number one and by rule number one the complexity is equal to big o of n to the power log a base b is equal to big o of n cube that's all thank you for watching and if you have any doubts you can please mention below in the comment section and that would really be beneficial for me to know your reviews are really important and do like and do subscribe for more videos thank you for watching